Hi all. Welcome to EIESB Mule 4, 4 minute videos. In this series we will demonstrate how to use Design Center in building Mule application flows. Design Center is Mule latest addition to its portfolio. I am very much excited to show you update operation for my SQL database application development in the Mule Design Center. In this tutorial you will learn about how to register and get hands on to Design Center. Let's open your browser and open anypoint.mulesoft.com, log in with your credentials. After successful authentication you will be presented with the AnyPoint homepage. This page contains links to Exchange, Design Center, Runtime Manager, API Manager and Partner Manager, Access Management, Data Gateway and MQ. Let's start developing our update MySQL database application using Design Center. Click on Design Center, which opens Projects page. Click on Create button. You can create new application or API specification or API fragment. We will choose new application. Provide project name and choose target environment. By default design is selected. Observe in left, you will find flows, connectors and modules and data types. New flow is created and by default you will see trigger component. For the first time new automatically displays few tips. In every new application, Flow is initiated or triggered with trigger connector, component. Trigger can be HTTP, scheduler or Salesforce connector. Let us choose HTTP connector as trigger, which displays the property page. Provide path and click on edit if you want to change HTTP configuration. Application is saved automatically. Click on plus symbol button to add more component. Now we will add database connector. Different operations are displayed like, bulk delete, bulk insert, bulk update, delete, update. Unlike in previous versions 3.x, only one database connector which can be used for multiple operations based on its position. But in the design center each operation have a separate connector. Here we will choose update operation. Next page displays database configuration. Let us set up database configuration by clicking on setup link provide name for your configuration and connection type as my sql connection now choose change to add jar select upload and choose file then add required jar click on upload now provide database host port user password and database instance name click on test button to check the connectivity you will see success message Write an update query to update the records to database dynamically. In order to send the records dynamically we need to create the variables, and set variable values from query params in a structured JSON format. In input parameters tab, we are going to fetch the query params details from the attributes. Click on plus symbol button to add the transform message to convert result dataset into JSON format. Set the input and output metadata to transform the details. Transform message has an intelligent data sense which can create a schema for you by taking the example data. Then map input to output fields. Now add transformation script to add a success message which going to be the response. That's all we are done with coding. Now let us deploy the application onto Cloud Hub. Click on deploy, after successful deployment. You will see latest changes deployed. Copy the URL and now go to Postman, give the URL and set query params according to given query params in the application and then click on send. Now see the flow, observe green line, as this flow has been invoked and executed successfully it has marked with green color, if any failure it will mark with red color. Now let's see runtime manager, click on top of let most page and choose runtime manager. It displays your application and its status is started. Click on the application. See CPU and memory utilization, 24 hours to last hour. Congratulations. Your service is working fine. You can see the success message as one rose updated successfully. That's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries, please reach us at Mule Design Center at TIESB.com.